Welcome back to Ghost of a Tale. We just got the ring that we're supposed to return to Silas. The thing they originally wanted from that ornate box down in the catacombs. So let's give it to them. Also want to turn in the Scap Beetle quest because we got all of those. Where's my spyglass? Oh. Well, I took it a million years ago, but uh, I guess giving it to the two mouse thieves triggers Silas to ask about it. Uh, uh, I took it. I see. What have you done with it? I gave it to my friends. Who? The two mice in the holding cells. What have you gotten yourself caught up in, Tilo? Tilo, you can't trust them. They said the same about you. Well, I think you're being taken for a fool. I want that spyglass, Tilo. You're going to get it back for me. Ah, really? How? I'm sure you'll think of something. Well, that's going to be awkward. <laughs> if I take it back, do you think uh, Gusto and Fatali are going to take one of my skills back as well? Did the scap beetles all come home? Aye, they did. Here, look. Ooh, a key. There's an old clothes chest downstairs in the cot. Take a look through it. You might find something your size. Silas, look, I found your ring. Catch. You... <laughs> look at that. I can hardly believe it. You mean you didn't have faith in me? Frankly, no. But I'm happy to be proven wrong. Thank you, Tilo. Truly. There was the body of a mouse with the treasure. Kanto, the stonemason. I... I didn't know, I swear. I'd assumed he'd become lost in the catacombs or fled. I found him crushed beneath a rockfall. I'm sorry to hear it. But he understood the risk he was taking. Do you have the deaths of many mice on your conscience? I. At least one too many. What do you mean? Another time, perhaps. Still waiting for the scap to return. It shouldn't be too long now. Oh, talking about, uh news of Mera. But meanwhile, I must ask you for one more favor. There are two prisoners down in the holding cells near the main gate. You mean Gusto and Vitelli? Of course, you've already met them. They have something that belongs to me. Another silver band, not much smaller than this one. I need you to retrieve it. They stole it from you? Aye. Aye, they did. Be careful, Tilo. These two, they can't be trusted. Some fake cards and candles. Wait a minute. Didn't Silas say there might be some clothes in there, my size? None of those were clothes. That's strange. Didn't they say something like downstairs by the cot? I, I think they just meant this chest, but... I mean, is there something else up here that the key might be for? I know there's still like the foot locker, but I'm pretty sure that's its own key. Yeah, this thing. Yeah, key to size is foot locker is what I need for that. Which reminds me, I actually have a quest for that key. It doesn't tell me where to get it, but... I remember someone told me... I don't even actually remember who... But someone told me that I shouldn't trust uh, Silas. They said, I might find some answers if I can find the key to the footlocker. So I'd like to do that, but I just don't know where it is. Could it be? Oh, wait. <laughs> is that it right there? Okay. Well, problem solved. So. 
Silas's figurines. A mouse's figurines found in the signal guard's footlocker. Two lutkas, one of a buck, the other a doe, found in the possession of a rat. Strange. No mouse would ever give up their figurines willingly. Indeed, that's odd. That's one of the most prized possessions of a mouse. Represents their family. Why do you have a mouse's figurines in your footlocker? You went through my possessions? These lutkas aren't yours. Are they yours? Give them to me. They don't belong to you. Now. Hmm. Fine. You know what these figurines mean. You shouldn't have taken them. You can trust me? We'll see. Wait, what? I don't, huh? What kind of a confrontation is that? They never answered. Why do you have them? That was very unsatisfying. Any luck opening the silver scroll tube? No, not yet. It's truly a puzzle. Hmm. Okay, well, let's head to the two mouse thieves and see what we can do about getting that spyglass back. The spyglass I gave you. I need it back. Why? Uh, Silas knows it was me that took it. I kind of told him. <laughs> yeah, maybe they're not the smartest thing. I'm not sure how that's our problem. <laughs> He's no too long, that's for sure. That rat wouldn't even remember he'd ever owned a spyglass if too long had taken it. He's that good. No prison can hold too long. He comes and goes as he pleases. It's said he once escaped dwindling heights disguised as Baron Osdrick himself. Too long is the best. I'd love to meet him. Me too, I'd give anything. Okay, that's a strong hint. Hmm. I wonder if I need to wear a certain disguise. It's said that they escaped dressed as Baron Osdrick himself. I don't have any sort of a costume that would look like Baron Osdrick. As far as, I mean, I don't know what Baron Osdrick actually looked like, but I don't have any Baron costume. Okay. So, yeah, they want to meet that person to, uh, give me the spyglass. What does that quest say exactly? Where is it? This is the ring one. Oh, here it is. These refused to give back the spyglass, but they'd give anything to meet their hero, the thief Too Long. Oh, right, Too Long's a thief, so maybe if I wear the thief costume, that would work? Ooh. And I think I just need one piece for the thief costume, right? Yeah, I need the tunic. Hmm. Well, I. I believe I did ask the blacksmith where every single piece of armor is, so it should be marked on the map. I just don't know which map, obviously not the courtyard. There's no armor here. Huh. Well, let's ask about the silver ring. I've come to get something from you, a silver ring. Silas says it's his. His? It's not his, we stole it fair and square. He did pay us to steal it, Gusto. I and then the scrunt had us arrested and dragged here. Where'd you steal it from? From the library of Waddle Dobbs Manor House. He's a collector of rare antiques, or antiquities rather. He's a scrunt. A very wealthy scrunt. How did they catch you? There was a chest full of coins. We couldn't resist. It was heavy, though. We didn't get far. Gusto wouldn't let go. They were so shiny! It was gold fever. Gold fever? They say it's a real condition. See? He understands. Okay, uh, this ring, where is it now? 
Ah, uh, that's the question. We don't have it with us. Oh, but it's close. If we tell you where it is, will Silas let us go free? Uh, I can't promise that. There's something you could give us. Something worth more than any riches. Fame. Did you finish that song you were writing about us? Aye, I did. Well, let's hear it. Then maybe we'll see about that ring. I believe it's Rascal's Whirly Gig. That's actually pretty good. It could do with a bit more gusto, though. So, who has the silver band? Belar Lar. The scrunt that arrested us. He took the ring. He's a guard here. Works the day watch. Wait, Belar Lar. That's familiar. Was that the gambling rat? Up in the kitchen? Hangs out in the commissary at night. Yeah. Notorious gambler. Okay. Aye, he wears the ring on the chain around his neck. Hmm. Perhaps I can steal it from him. <laughs> Go ahead and try if you want to lose a paw. He's not like the other guards here. Aye, he's good at his job. Scrunt. Perhaps he'd be willing to trade it for something. Trade? <laughs> no. Wager, maybe. Aye, if the stakes are high enough. Hmm. Perhaps we should go do that right now. Before I do that, though, I want to present you with something that I've realized. So, this is the name of the game, right? Ghost of a Tale. Well, guess what? Ghost O Fatali. Hmm? I think I might have prematurely discovered the main twist of the game. Okay, let's do some gambling. I made sure to save it before doing this, by the way, just in case I run out of money and don't know what to do from that point. Because, I, I mean, you can't get money unlimitedly. There's no way to just keep getting money, as far as I know, so I guess conceivably you could totally mess this up. All right, how about a round of high, low seven? That's a between two and five florins accepted, and you need at least five florins to play. Mm -hmm. What do you say we make things a little more interesting this time? What would you have in mind? If I win, I take that silver band you're wearing. All right. And if the house wins, I take your loot. Oh, God. Okay. Good. Call it, friend. High, low, or seven? Huh. Low. Roll a three. And a two. You've won. The rat stares at you for a moment, then removes the silver band and slides it across the table to you. Perhaps you'll afford me the chance to win this back later, Scow. I don't think I will. So... Unless it's like rigged in my favor just for completing that quest, I'm assuming I just got lucky. 
In which case, what would happen if you failed it? I mean, they take your loot and then, what, do you have to, like, gamble to get both of them back? Both the uh, loot and the silver band? So I could bring the silver band back to Silas, of course, but Silas also wants me to get the spyglass, so I figured we should try to do both at the same time. So I've just been going around to a couple locations, trying to see if I can find the thief's stuff on the map, and it appears I've found it in the harbor. Yep, says a thief's guile, so that must be the final piece, the tunic. Let's go check it out. Yeah, I remember I jumped over here before, and I never went down there. I went up there. Oh yeah, let's put this cool blue flame on. The flame's a little bit distracting, I guess. It's still pretty cool, though. <laughs> you think the rat guards would be just, like, really confused by me being so incredibly tiny and having this just blue flame? <laughs> like, where did I get this? Kind of stands out a little bit. Huh. Yeah, it's far above me, so it's actually not down here. I think it's actually... Oh, it's on that place! Remember when I was up there and I saw I could jump down to a place and it looked like there's a body there and stuff? I think that's it. Yeah. So if I jump into the water, I guess I'd probably just die, huh? Alright, well, let's explore the harbor more properly now. We can move faster, we got unlimited light. I think we're in a pretty good position to do it. I don't feel so overwhelmed and weird about being in the harbor anymore. Hmm. Since there's someone I can talk to, they don't seem to be bothered by me not being in my guard's garb. Although they might find it strange if I actually did start talking to them. They might comment about it. Oh yeah, do you have anything on you? No. Gotta remember to check. Hmm. This little walkway there. Secrets? Ooh. Oh! There's a thief's tunic! I didn't know I was actually coming around to that spot. Then I wonder what the other place that I was thinking of is. I need to go check it out. Alright, another complete costume. Oh, I can't wait to see what it looks like. Can't wait to see the stats. Let's get back somewhere where there's a little bit more light and check it out. Let's not fall off the edge. Yeah, it's getting the light here. Where are the pieces? Eh, just any one of these pieces, I guess. I really do wish there's like a radial menu for the costumes or something. It's weird to try to like hunt down the grouping of the costume that you want. Like, oh yeah, it's any one of these five pieces. Uh, anyway, so stat-wise... Well, that's showing me the stats for the individual piece that I'm going to put on, not for all my stats altogether, right? Yeah, it looks like it. So let's just put them all on. Ooh. Ooh, that stuff's pretty good. Um, so let's see. So uh, obviously it's really, really good when it comes to auditive discretion and visual discretion, almost completely maxed. So that's fantastic. That might be what I want to wear most of the time. Um, compared to this... So sprint speed, 6. Sprint speed, 5. So less sprint speed compared to the ranger stuff. And... Ooh, significantly less stamina recovery. 
But yeah, way better discretion. And pretty dang good defenses too. Weapons, fire, poison, and falling. Let's take a look at us. <laughs> oh my god, we're so cute. <laughs> it's really odd. Notice how when you take out the lantern, it's really bright at first, but then it like almost instantly gets darker. Bright, darker. Weird. So let's see, how bad is the stamina recovery? Does it make a huge difference? I don't know, it's not too bad. Yeah, let's see how hard it is for us to be heard and seen. Oh, look at that. We're barely raising it just by walking. Or like, sort of running, you know. I guess I guess the default max walking speed is sort of a run, and then this is more of a sprint. So yeah, auditive discretion, so much better. I'm curious about the visual. They don't even Oh, they only started to see us when we were super close. Oh, oh, okay. Well, hmm. I think they're kind of stuck. Anyway, yeah, I think I prefer this over the Ranger stuff. Yeah, they're stuck. So that spot that I was going to drop down is above this. Are they ever going to lose me? So I'm going to have to pretend to be too long. I wonder how I'm going to do that. Shouldn't be too hard, I guess. Okay. Yeah, so where is this? Oh, they're just, like, not ever going to lose me. Be nice if they did. Kind of tired of the battle music. Heith's urn. Still don't know what those urns are for. Slips around over here. Cool. Okay, let's see if there's anything more to explore in the harbor. Not sure, that might be most of it, but let's see where this leads exactly. Because I know I wasn't very thorough the first time I came here. And as soon as I find a place to save, I'm going to save and reload. Ah, we're at the northern slopes now. Okay, so I guess that's all of the harbor. Cool. And then I know that up here will lead around to that place that I blew a hole through that big, uh, the big shaft that leads to the armory. So I'll take that route and I'll meet you back at the two mice. Okay, gotta get into character. We're too long. And just don't question the fact that we have a loot. Too long just likes to play music, okay? T too long. Th the greatest thief alive. What are you doing here? I'm searching for the best thieves in the land to join my gang. Oh, pick us! Quiet, play it cool. Please, ask us anything. How many years of professional experience do you have? Oh, we've been thieving since we were bairns. What's a bairn? We learn from our da. What was the first thing you stole? Our mother's heart. <laughs> oh my god, that's adorable. N not literally, though. Tell me the last three things you've stolen. You take out your songbook and pretend to write. Oh, 
Well, now there's so many. Uh, let's see. We stole a handkerchief from a guard. Mm-hmm, go on. Uh, we took a blacksmith's hammer. Really? Can I see it? Oh, uh, we don't have it with us here. A shame. Anything else? Uh, and we stole a spyglass. Oh, that's interesting. Y you want to see it? Vitaly, get the spyglass, quick. Ah, uh, yes, of course, here. The mouse hands you Silas's spyglass. So, what do you think? You stole this. Impressive. <laughs> Please, keep it. So when will you let us know? In time. Are you going somewhere? N no pressure, of course. I'm sure you have lots of other criminals to see. I hope it won't take too long. <laughs> Shh. Uh, your guild members, of course. Uh, oh, of course. A, a guild, at least. Anything else you'd like to tell me? We've conned a mouse into helping us escape from here. Hmm. Conned, have you? Huh. Should I just, like, keep that in my pocket, or... Kind of try to chide them for it? Hmm. <laughs> he must be a fool to trust you two. <laughs> you might be right. Oh, but we're only jesting with him. We do mean to take him with us when we go. Oh. Okay. Anything else you'd like to tell me? A few months ago, we stole a ferret's handcart, then sold it back to him. Three times! We once tried to steal a pirate frog's leg. We couldn't get it to come off, though. Uh, I think we've told you everything. Farewell. I'll be back before... too long. <laughs> there were none the wiser. All right, I'm gonna head back to Silas. Tilo, you're back. And I have the silver ring from the mice. And I have news, great news. A prison transport is due to make a rest stop here on its way to Yuva. Mara is with them. Y you're certain? Aye, I'm sure of it. Her name is on the ship's manifest. Hmm. It just made me think of that ship that I found, past the harbor, remember it? It's due to make harbor any time now. Hmm. The harbor, how do I get, no, <laughs> uh, I already know how, I'd best get going. Ah, you should, Mara will be waiting. Hmm, that's too easy, there, there's no way the game's gonna end at this point. Good speed, mouse. Silas. Thank you for all that you've done. I'm glad I could do right by you. Go on now. You know where I am if you need me. Oh wait, the silver band. With a nod, you pull the band from your pouch and toss it to Sil Silas. <laughs> you throw like a mouse. Level up, health and stamina. Tila, what are you doing? Mara will be waiting. Uh, wait, I lied. I did steal your spyglass. Wait, what? But I didn't lie. I told them the truth. I told them that I stole their spyglass. <laughs> okay, that's weird. Anyway. How'd you fit this in your pouch? It's strange, isn't it? At least you've done the right thing. Eventually. Forgive me, I shouldn't have taken it. Forget it. Let's move on. So what other quests do we have? All right, we still need to meet the blacksmith on the cliffs, wherever that is. <laughs> the task says, meet him on the cliffs. And then the summary says, meet you on the shore. 
still don't know what that's about. Uh, and this master thing, that's um, related to meeting the blacksmith. I'm supposed to meet them to talk with them about that. One more flower. Uh, one more piece of the pirate's costume. So we've done most of the quests here. I guess we should go try to meet Mera and see what happens. I think I'm going to save that for the next episode, though. So I hope you enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to go down to that boat that we can see down there, docked, and see if Mera is there.